Events over the past year have served as a reminder that financial markets are frequently poor indicators for predicting political events. With that in mind, it's interesting to note that derivatives markets are now strongly suggesting that traders believe Marine Le Pen will not win this month's French presidential elections. Earlier in the year, there had been heavy buying of futures contracts linked to the expected volatility of the pan-European Eurostox Equities Index, with demand rising for the contract expiring in May, the month of a potential second round vote in France. The logic of buying these so-called V-Stocks futures is that if Miss Le Pen suddenly appears as if she could triumph come next month, or she actually does, then markets will tumble, volatility will jump, and traders will cash in as the value of the May contract shoots up. The April V-Stocks contract, on the other hand, expires two days before the results of the first round vote will be known, meaning anyone trying to bet on European stock markets becoming unnerved by a Le Pen victory should expect the value of the May contract to rise compared to the April expiry. Yet, as Man Group has noted, the price of both the April and the May contracts have in recent weeks been falling in tandem. This could mean two things. The first is that hasty traders have already snapped up all the protection for May they needed at the start of the year, meaning that demand has simply fallen because there are no buyers left. The second reading is that markets are now assigning a materially lower likelihood of Marine Le Pen winning. Prediction markets currently agree, showing a sharp drop in the implied probability of her becoming president. Punters on the Betfair exchange have priced down Le Pen's chances from 30% in late February to near a 20% today. Man Group argues that even this may be too high, citing recent research by Morgan Stanley that used poll numbers and bookmakers' odds to conclude that even if every undecided voter opted for Miss Le Pen in the second round, she would still only have a 34% shot at victory. Anyone who still believes docile markets are underestimating her chances, however, may decide that the depressed May V-Stocks futures contracts now represent a tempting value bet.